I asked you guys, my subscribers and my followers on Instagram, what anabolic milkshake should I make next? The overwhelming most requested response was chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. And on one hand, I was so damn happy. And on the other hand, I was pissed. Happy because I always wanted to eat chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream on a diet. And I knew that I could come up with it. On the other hand, I knew it was going to take a shit ton of work. But after almost a month and a half of trial and error, I nailed the cookie dough and I nailed the ice cream. And we are here today to have a five cup, 500 calorie loaded with cookie dough anabolic milkshake. You are guaranteed to love it. And I think it will be at the top of your anabolic protein ice cream, anabolic ice cream, cream, shake, whatever list by the end of this video, or at least by the time you try it. If you haven't seen the cookie dough recipe yet, you will have to go back and watch that one first, make the cookie dough, and then come to this video and also make the ice cream. But the great thing about that is you will have six servings of cookie dough after you finish that recipe, and then you can have cookie dough ice cream all throughout the week. And guess what? It is going to be less than 500 calories. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. All right, subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this with someone who loves cookie dough, please. They will absolutely love it. You're gonna love it. And we need to get into this recipe. So without further ado, let's get into it. Not only are we making the one of a kind cookie dough anabolic milkshake today, but I've also figured out a way to virtually have zero ice chunks, ice shards, ice anything in our cream. So let's get to it. First, we're going to start with whipped topping, sugar-free. Shout out to Mina Ayub, Ayube, Ayab, for giving me the tip to use this for his Halo Top ice cream because I tried it in here and it is worth the calories to me. If it's not for you, you can still add more Greek yogurt, but I think that this really gives it a smooth, creamy, almost soft serve feel. So if you can get the soft serve, this has 20 calories in it and we're only using two servings. So it will be 40 extra calories, but it really just gives it that smoothness that we're looking for. So we're gonna pop 18 grams into this bad boy. That's what we got here. 17.7, .7, but I still want as much creamy goodness as I can. 18.2, I'll take the extra half calorie. So we're going with 130 grams of fat-free Greek yogurt. Wow, 129.9. Can I get a hell yeah? And then 84 grams of the milk of your choice. Cashew milk, almond milk, doesn't matter. When all this stuff is blended up, it is still going to taste like pure bliss. Either way. And then our last wet ingredient here is vanilla. We're going with a teaspoon or 4.2 grams. 4.6, still gonna be delicious. The one dry ingredient I add right now is the salt. Salt helps break down not only the ice, but mixes in really well at this stage. And I'm going with a gram and a half here. Now, as opposed to other times that I make this recipe, we're going to add the ice right now and mix it. And then we will add our dry ingredients. So this will add an extra mix of the blender. So if your roommate already hates you for it, he's gonna hate you even more, or your mother, or your father, or your circle, or whatever. But it needs to be done to have the perfect ice cream soft serve consistency. And we're going with 400 grams here, so a little bit less than usual. Beautiful. Now, before we actually blend this, I'm going to grate down our Hershey Kisses. I'm taking this from the playbook when I thought of doing this for my mint Oreo anabolic milkshake as well. And it works so well because it really goes throughout the whole ice cream. You get chocolate in every bite, you get cookie dough in almost every bite, but this really works well because there's shavings all throughout of chocolate. And usually I would recommend mini chocolate chips, but this is able to cover so much more area, especially for the calories. This is like 42 calories for two of these, but you get so much chocolate flavor from them that it's worth it. What I also recommended in the mint Oreo shake is I would shave down about five of these, see what it weighs out to, and then put 
put it in a plastic bag so that you don't have to clean a grater every time after you do this. Cause the grating part's not hard. It takes you, you know, 45 seconds to a minute tops, but cleaning a grater is just a waste of time. So if you can essentially meal prep it, you only got to wash this thing one time. Chocolate is grated. I'm going to blend for one minute and I'll see you back in just a second. Okay, bye. All right, so we got a good amount of ice chunks at the top, but the bottom is super smooth. So what we wanna do is move the smooth part to the bottom, the chunky part to the top, and then we're gonna add our dry ingredients in here. We're gonna add our thickening agents first. So we're gonna start with the Jello. I'm doing white chocolate. Vanilla works great. I feel like you get enough of vanilla from the vanilla extract that adding the white chocolate really gives it that extra flavor burst. If you can't get white chocolate, I'm not saying it's 10 steps above, but if you can get white chocolate, I would definitely get it. I do think it is a little bit better. And we're going with seven grams here. After also watching Mina's video, I started experimenting with using both xanthan and guar gum. And it's been turning out great. And it could be because of the whipped topping or it could be because both of these. I really don't know to be honest with you, but I do know that my ice creams are coming out much smoother in general, even when I was still adding the ice and everything in at the same time. So I'm gonna go with 1.5 grams of guar gum and 1.5 grams of xanthan gum. And let's say you get like 1.6, it's fine if you add 1.4 of the other. All right, then we're gonna add our protein and all we need is one scoop. I'm using bodybuilding whey protein. I think it is the best when you look at both flavor and affordability, $40 for five pounds, well worth every penny. All the stuff that I do use here, the link is in the description. It's either Amazon or bodybuilding. Most of the stuff is free shipping if you have Prime. This, you have to buy two tubs, but 10 pounds is gonna last you forever. Even going through recipes and using it every single day, it takes me like a month to go through one of these when I'm using it one, if not two or three times a day. One scoop of vanilla protein. And that's the other thing. You get a lot of vanilla from the protein powder. So that's why I think that white chocolate really just gives it that extra flavor boost. All right, and for our last ingredient, I'm using Swerve. It is urethritol, another artificial sweetener. But I explained in my last video with the cookie dough that urethritol isn't bad for you. You can use it in huge quantities and there's no even daily intake that the FDA recommends, which they don't do that with any other artificial sweetener. But we're gonna go with eight grams here. And this is also in the link in my description. You can get a three pack, which you'll need the brown sugar as well anyway, or the confectioner sugar if you wanna make my birthday cake French toast of Swerve, which is like 20 $21 shipped to your door and you'll have like a shit ton of recipes to use it in. You probably won't need to order for months unless you make recipes all the time like I do, as in you make a recipe like every single day. And that's it, super easy. The most work you have to do is probably mixing it. So we're gonna go back in there for 45 seconds and then we're gonna give it one more mix. I forgot to mention, I highly recommend that you set a timer because if you mess with the mixing time, you're gonna mess, mess with the consistency. I did this 40 or 50 times because I was making cookie doughs for so damn long that this is the best way to do it for this recipe. 45 seconds, I'll see you back. Okay, bye. All right, if you see in here, we got a really great smooth consistency. There's a lot of dry ingredients that stick at the top though. So we're gonna mix those in, mix everything around, and then we're gonna give it another 45 seconds. Make sure you really get all this stuff mixed up though. You're gonna kind of have to bring the ice cream up because the protein powder is pretty sticky. So you're gonna have to bring the ice cream up to act as like a, a windshield wiper almost, or like a windshield spray. So then I come in with my windshield wiper and it comes off. And you don't have to get every single little piece, but I try to get as much as I can. There's a little tiny bit of chunk in there, like very, very small. This last button will really get it all out. 45 more seconds. And then we're almost at cookie dough heaven. Okay, bye. Now we take our flavor stick out, we wipe it down. We don't lick it like sush would, but licking your fingers is okay. So first we're gonna add our chocolate shavings in. I'm gonna give that a good mix around. And now a serving of this chocolate chip cookie dough is 60 grams, which is a good amount of cookie dough. You should get it in almost like every other bite, maybe every third bite at the most, but it's definitely more than you would get in a chocolate chip ice cream because sometimes you'll get like two bites in a row and then I'll go like six bites without getting any cookie dough. This is definitely way better cookie dough to ice cream ratio. 
So what I do, I take my spatula. Oh, be a good idea if I had this on the scale. Oh no, we could do it that way too. This is on the scale and I just take out as I see fit. Now you could play with this. You could make them long and lay them out. You could do more like balls and drop them right in. You could really play around with this however you would like. I usually get three or four little chunks or like lines, whatever, however you're doing it. If you want to do it like this and then I mix it in, not too much. It's kind of like caramel. You just want to mix it in so it's in there. And then I put another three or four little dabs in there we mix it around one more time now for these purposes since i'm pouring it into the pitcher i'm gonna do it right now and just to let you guys know this is getting me about four and a half cups on average i've gotten five and five and a half but more like four and a half cups so it's not as voluminous voluminous vol voluminous as some of the other ones but it's less calories and i think adding the guar gum and stuff after the ice is blended has an effect on how much it raises for me i'm okay with that especially for having a 500 calorie chocolate chip cookie dough just pure fuego go protein ice cream or protein milkshake. I mean, we're gonna look at the consistency here. It's thick, like I said, it's almost more like soft serve than it is a milkshake. Look at that, oh my God, oh my God. And even at like the bottom, it's like melty like a milkshake would be if you let it melt for a little bit. Just unbelievable, Oh, We're not wasting anything. This is just one of those, man. I can't wait for you guys to try this. Like, just like the mint Oreo was, this is like my childhood thing. Just like the birthday cake was, this is my childhood thing. So that's why at this point, this recipe is in the books. You're gonna love it. And I'm so glad that you guys chose this because I really did wanna perfect a recipe. I knew it was gonna take work and that's okay because at the end of the day, we're all going to be able to enjoy this for the rest of our lives. Put in a couple months of work to enjoy it for years on end. Hell yeah. I'm telling you though, there's no ice chunks at all. And that's it. We got four nice chunks of cookie dough at the top with the consistency that the cookie dough is. It floats in this ice cream. Don't let it sit forever, but you could even see little brown shades. So you're gonna get cookie dough throughout, even in like littler bites. And then you'll also get nice fat chunks of cookie dough. It tastes exactly like cookie dough ice cream, just not as like, I don't know, it's really thick, but this is the closest you're gonna get for the calories and for the macros. Speaking of which, let's go over the macros. So for four and a half cups here, and the ice cream alone, there's 355 calories, 6.6 .6 grams of fat, 36.3 carb, 42.8 protein. When you add in your 160 gram serving of cookie dough, you get 160 63 calories, 6.6 .6 fat, 22.3 carb, 11.6 protein. In total, you're essentially having 520 calories. Substitute the regular milk for the almond milk. It'll be like six calories for the three ounces, something five calories, something like that. So that'll take away 25 calories. When you combine the calories here, it's about 163 plus 355, 150 plus 350, carry the 13 and the five. So it's 518. You take out the 25 calories, you're gonna go below 500, you're gonna be at like 498, 497. This is about the best 500 calories that you will have in your diet, guaranteed. Mint Oreo, great, love it. Birthday cake, absolutely crush that recipe. I've had tens of people try it. My channel's not that big, I wish it was thousands, but tens of people have tried it. Not one complaint, every single person has loved it. But cookie dough is just such a classic. I could just remember being in the womb and thinking about cookie dough. Dough. Loved cookie dough, still love cookie dough, and now I have it in my life for the rest of my life, and I can eat it and maintain my weight or lose weight, whatever I wanna do, and enjoy the foods that I love. If I didn't earn your subscription and a like with this recipe, I think I'm a lost cause, but I guarantee if you make this, you will absolutely love it. And if you do, tag me on my Instagram, let me know what you thought in the comment section or on Instagram, DM me. I try to get to my DMs at least once a week. It's been really hard to keep up, but I will respond to everybody both through DM and through the comment section itself. And when you guys comment in the comment section and let people know how the recipe is, it lets them know and gives them the confidence to make it. Because there are very few bad reviews. The bad reviews are like, oh, I still could taste the Greek yogurt a little bit. Oh, there's a little too much ice chunks in there. I don't taste Greek yogurt at all. The ice chunks are now eliminated. And there's nothing else I can really say. So try it, let me know what you think. And until next time, I will see you in that next one. Do see.